And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, as always here to bring up today with all of the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours and we've actually got a bit of transfer news and actually some huge transfer news in all seriousness from Fabrizio Romano. So we're going to be discussing that in detail a little bit later on, but Liverpool are set to return for their first game today as Liverpool will host championship side Preston North End at the AXA Training Centre in the club's first unofficial match for Arne slot. The game will take place behind closed doors as reported by uh, LFC News recently meaning it will not be shown on TV. Preston are managed by ex-Liverpool Academy player and coach Ryan Lowe have formed a good relationship with the Reds over the last few years. Last season Liverpool used Preston North End's Deepdale Stadium to host Dums Dat 98 in pre-season due to ongoing work at Anfield and have also loaned players such as Zach Vanderberg and Calvin Ramsey to Championship Club in recent seasons. Lowe explained earlier this week we've got the opportunity to go to a Premier League training ground on Friday and put our weights against a top top Premier League team and we're privileged to do that. We forgot to do today, tomorrow and we'll do some stuff at the training ground on Thursday and then play a game against the Premier League team and pit our wits against them. That will be good because we will probably won't have large parts of the ball. Again, it's good for us out of possession in certain games. There will be loads of good stuff in possession. We're looking forward to it. After Liverpool's friendly against Preston, they have just over a week before facing Spanish side Real Betas in Pittsburgh. Games against Arsenal in Philadelphia and Manchester United in South Carolina make up the rest of the US preseason tour before a match against Sevilla at Anfield on August 11th will offer slot the chance to greet the Anfield crowd for the first time. In terms of who will be involved, Liverpool having just four friendlies uh, scheduled in front of supporters. Slot has seen, uh, seen to fit to arrange fixtures to start implementing his philosophy into the squad. While several of Slot's key men, including Van Dijk, Trent Alexander-Arnold, are not yet back, Mo Salah should be involved. Among those joining them should be Wataru Endo, Harvey Elliott, Costa Simicas and Curtis Jones. Here is the full squad in detail. Jaros, Kelleher, Petruga, Morozek, Get Davies, Kwanzaa, Van de Berg, Phillips, Bradley, Simicas, Beck, Chambers, Robertson, maybe he's just returned back. I don't think he's going to be fit enough for this game. Elliot Jones, Endo, Bishesic, McConnell, Morton, Neoni, Stephenson, and Sabozla again in the same bracket as Robertson. And then Salah, Carvalho, Doak, Kumis, Blair, Dance, and Gordon. So the Reds are back in action. Of course, we won't be able to watch it, um, but we might get a match report from the club a bit later on in the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean anything, troops. I don't think you really want to watch it. Well, I mean, we like to watch anything to do with Liverpool, don't we? But um, I mean, it's not that much to be, to be fair. Maybe just uh, a few things there. But um, that first friendly will be against Real Betes very, very soon. So yeah, first game back, unofficial game for Arne Slot, um, and we'll see how that one sort of pans out now moving on to some transfer news guys that uh, seems to be a word that we're allergic to in this transfer window and to be fair the transfer window has probably been the most depressing transfer window i can remember in a very very long time even the summer of 2022 which i thought was really really bad we still signed darwin nunez by this point we still had a few players in through the door uh, but this is my goodness me so depressing so so depressing and so boring uh, for a transfer Phone, especially for a content creator as well. I think over at Panenka, we're waiting for deep dives to go to new players, new systems and stuff like that, but we're getting absolutely nothing from the Liverpool gods at this moment in time. But hopefully things start to move up on the incoming front. I really, really do hope they do happen very quickly. If we're looking at the press conference, Richard Hughes said, you know, August will probably be the where things start to pick up for us. So another 11 days. But even then, it still does feel like we're, we're congesting things right in to the end so we'll have to, to wait and see however um, Fabrizio Romano one of the, the most reputable sort of journalists has came out and provided a bit of transfer news with regards to an outgoing no it's not an academy player ladies and gentlemen it is with regards to um, a very very important player homegrown player that of course being Trent Alexander-Arnold now reports came out a couple of days ago in which we did report to you that um, Real Madrid uh, were interested in Trent Alexander-Arnold but we got a bit more on that from Fabrizio Romano and stated uh, that Real Madrid are waiting 
waiting to see what happens between Trent and Liverpool this summer. Real Madrid like to sign and monitor players that have a year left on their contract. Following this, Jude Bellingham has spoke highly of Real Madrid to Trent Alexander-Arnold during England duty and has persuaded him, or not necessarily persuaded him, but trying to get him over to join Madrid. Now, whilst I don't, I mean, look... I don't often worry about things with regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold, to be fair, because I do think he's a Liverpool boy. But the, the, the mess that we've got, but we were in this situation where he's in the final year of his contract. It shouldn't have never have been in this final year of his contract anyway. Uh, but now it just becomes a bit temptation, you know, whilst... He is a Liverpool player, Liverpool fan and all that sort of stuff. It does just leave unnecessary temptation. If we had signed him down to new terms last year, this would have never have happened. And whilst that is the main talks that we're going into, you know, Real Madrid is a persuasive project. Who wouldn't want to go and join that? Yes, people are going to say, yeah, he's a Liverpool fan. Yes, great. I understand that. But Steven Gerrard almost nearly left. You know, I know he didn't. I know I know that. But, you know, any player can leave a football club for a different project in terms of going to win. He may look at Liverpool and go, I've won everything here. And going to that Real Madrid project looks very exciting. You know, Mbappe, Bellingham, fucking Vinicius Jr., Endrick, all there in within the team. He, you know, he might be looking at that and going, yeah, I could be the next guy that can be the right back for the next freaking 10 years. Win four or five Champions Leagues. Win countless La Liga titles. He may look at that. It might be attractive. And I don't care who people you say you are. And as I say, you know a player. You don't know a player. You don't know what's going on in a player's mind. And as I said, Real Madrid is the only one that does fear me with regards to, to, to Liverpool players. It's always been the case. Real Madrid and Barcelona. You know, I'm never scared of like losing our players to other sides in the Premier League or, you know, Italian teams or German teams. You know, I think there is no peak or anything higher than Liverpool Football Club, apart from probably Barcelona and Real Madrid. Maybe not Barcelona these days, but going to Real Madrid as a player is like the creme de la creme. You know, we've seen Luis Suarez obviously go to Barca. We've seen Coutinho go to Barca, go to like La Liga teams. And that's like almost seen as the, the, the top and the premium. So um, I don't like the fact that we're starting to hear this murmur that Real Madrid are monitoring. We're know what they're like the savages they're vultures and uh, they don't pay transfer fees this day these days you know they get players on a free like Mbappe and stuff like that so they like to do their business like that and uh, they'll be um, in Jude Bellingham's ear if they really do want the player so there is real interest there coming from Fabrizio Romano and there's a real possibility you could go because the contract hasn't been signed a contract still hasn't been signed I don't know how we get ourselves into a position where Van Virgil van Dijk Mo Salah and certain Alexander Arnold's are going into the final year in the last in the last season that should have been dealt with last summer that should have been dealt with last summer the contracts or especially in January they should have been dealt with ages ago especially for Trent I can understand when Moe is a bit older and I can understand with Virgil van Dijk they're a bit older but with Trent why is this contract coming into the final year it should be done ages ago um, but yeah that's what that's the, where we are at this moment in time for it's reminder providing more news on Trent Alexander-Arnold do you think there's a world in which he goes to Real Madrid next summer yes or no that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content thank you and I'll see you next time take care